Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm bringing you a very special Week 11 breakdown of the Denver Broncos taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Before I get right into this breakdown and prediction, I want to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now so you can get all the updates as soon as our videos come out. Now, without any further ado, let's hop right into the action. This week, Week 11, uh, as I stated before, the Broncos taking on the Chicago Bears in Chicago. It's going to be a lot of factors into this football game. Last week, we saw the Chiefs beat up on the Denver Broncos after, you know, as we all know, Peyton Manning and him suffering with all the injuries, the plash of fantiitis, things like that. Uh, backup quarterback Brock Osweiler has made an appearance. Now he's going to be making his first start of his career. Now, looking at just the, the, the small basics, uh, across from the Denver Broncos will be former head coach uh, John Fox of the Denver Broncos. And you're looking at how he knows almost everything about Brock Osweiler and, and just overall how he plays the game. you got to keep in mind he was the head coach uh, for him basically his whole career there besides this last year. You look at what he does as far as his defensive side of the ball. This guy is a defensive guru in John Fox. You're looking at what he's able to do with subpar defenses. You're looking at the Chicago Bears and how he's been able to make them uh, at least respectable in his first year. You're looking overall at what the Chicago Bears team can do and what it's been doing the last couple of weeks. Jay Cutler has bought into the John Fox system. John Fox necessarily doesn't want to go for the big play every single play. You're looking at how Jay Cutler uh, on, on most of his games this season doesn't look for the big play immediately. He If he has a little open uh, uh, receiver or, or running back or tight end under in the flat, he'll get the ball to them. He's not forcing the ball down the field. He's not forcing throws and getting interceptions like he used to in the past. He has the physical tools to get it done. He has the physical strength to get it done as far as uh, a, a quarterback goes, has one of the best arms in the NFL so overall in this football game you're going to have to see uh, if John Fox can get pressure onto Osweiler very quickly what kind of schemes are they going to be running for the Chicago Bears defense they're going to mix up a whole bunch of matchups you're going to have some 3-4 you're going to have some 3-4 three, uh, uh, some four, three. you're going to have some heavy dime coverages you're going to have so many different things the Denver Broncos are going to lean on the run game they're going to go to the play action pass they're going to go to things that are quarterback friendly running the ball uh, at least 20 to 25 times, getting that defense to know, okay, well, they're going to try to run the ball to stop us from blitzing Osweiler. You know that offensive line for the Denver Broncos is not really that good. And just overall looking, I, I'm seeing a potential uh, matchup nightmare for the Denver Broncos. Yes, the Broncos still have a, a, a very good defense. Yes, they still have Von Miller, DeMarcus Ware, TJ Ward, and things like that, Aqib Tlaib. And, and, but overall, looking at this matchup, it favors the Denver Broncos, but all the things and keys say that the Chicago Bears are to come up with this upset. And what I'm doing, I'm picking the Chicago Bears to upset the Denver Broncos. I think that this team wants to play hard for John Fox. They want to get John Fox a win against his former team. I think that the Chicago Bears have found uh, not only their their backup running back for the future, but Matt Forte possibly could sit out this game and, 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 and the running back still continuously have a great season so far. I'm looking at Jay Cutler to take advantage of some of these mismatches. If Alshon Jeffrey plays, that's definitely going to be a mismatch for whoever he plays for. You look at Bennett, the tight end. Uh, they, uh, Denver doesn't have a, a linebacker fast enough or big enough to guard uh, uh, Martellus Bennett. And looking at what he can do in the pass game, and you're looking at if, they're, if the Bears are running the football fairly early and fairly often, I think they can beat up on this Denver Broncos front four. Um, I know that you have Von Miller and DeMarcus Ware. Those guys are sack artists, but they cannot guard against the run that well. I'm looking at, at all these factors. Plus, you don't have Peyton Manning, a healthy Peyton Manning back there. I think that in his first prime time start, you're going to see John Fox uh, throw the throw the kitchen sink at Osweiler. I think that in this game, he'll be rattled. He'll throw a couple of interceptions trying to force plays. And I think the Chicago Bears are going to get the upset victory. All you Chicago Bears fans, all you Denver Broncos fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, the hottest updates in sports. And don't forget to share this video in your Facebook group so we can debate with you and your friends each and every week. Thank you so very much for checking us out. We'll be back next week with week 12. Thank you so very much.